New questions surrounding a man who died Saturday after being held on Rikers Island since April. Rallies being held today outside City Hall calling for change. CBS News' Lisa Rosner is live there with the details. Lisa. Mary, the group here says that around two dozen inmates have died since Mayor Adams took office. This rally comes one day after a court-appointed monitor wrote to a judge saying that he had concerns over transparency at Rikers Island. Now, this all comes after Saturday. An inmate, Joshua Valles, about 31 years old, a Williamsburg, Brooklyn native, died at Elmhurst Hospital. He had been released from Rikers, but the cause of death is not clear. In a letter Wednesday, the court-appointed monitor for Rikers told the judge the general counsel for the Department of Correction said an autopsy on Valles revealed he had a fractured skull. However, days earlier, the monitor said he had been told that when Valles went to a hospital, he had had a headache and a medical condition. Valle's sudden hospitalization was highlighted in a recent report from the monitor that raised concerns about safety and transparency at Rikers Island. Valle's attorney says he was battling a drug addiction when he was arrested April 7th for allegedly breaking into a Harlem pizza shop and stealing four tablets. His attorney says the week after he went to the hospital, he was declared brain dead. What we've seen is a lack of transparency, and we've seen a Commissioner Molina and a Department of Corrections whose story simply evolves to meet the moment, like a chameleon. So at first, he didn't report that this death had occurred. And they took the position that they didn't really have to report the death. The The DOC Commissioner Molina had previously told the monitor there was no official wrongdoing. The DOC tells us Valles was released and no longer in custody at the time of his death. The medical examiner says the cause and manner of death are pending further study. A judge has ordered the DOC to provide more information by next week, and a hearing is scheduled between the DOC and people representing the inmates for June 13th. We're live outside City Hall. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Lisa, thank you.